In this video I'm going to quickly go over how to do squares mod p, specifically the mistake people most commonly make and how to correct that. So I have an example. If you have x squared is congruent to 4 mod 5 and you want to solve for x, the mistake people usually make is just doing it straightforward. You take the square root of 4, I mean square root of x is square root of 4, and you get that x is congruent to 2 mod 5. And while that is correct, it is not a complete answer. So what you need to do is for x squared is congruent to something mod 5, you have to test out all the different values up to mod 5. So we start with 0 and we just plug them in to our x right here. So we're testing different x values. So we say that 0 squared equals 0 mod 5, 1 squared equals 1 mod 5, 2 squared equals 4 mod 5, 3 squared equals 9, which is congruent to 4 mod 5, and 4 squared equals 16, which is congruent to 1 mod 5. So what I've done here is I've put in everything from 0 till p minus 1. That's p minus 1. Um, and what I'm looking for is, since I was trying to find where does x squared, where is it congruent to 4? And I see that right here it's congruent to 4, and right here it's congruent to 4. So therefore, these two values, 2 and 3, are the solutions to this problem. So, in this case, x equals 2 and 3 because 2 squared and 3 squared are both 4 mod 5, which was the original problem that we were trying to find solutions for.